Well, Frank, you've been with the Volley Roos for a long time. How big was that result tonight? It's a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, that's a, a part of the story of uh, the Volley Roos right there. I mean, it's a little part, and we want to obviously do that fairly consistently, but that, that's a part. To knock off an iconic team like Italy, um, you know, they've been world champions, they've been Olympic medalists as of, you know, 2012. So they're, they're a big team, they're a good team, and that's a, a great victory for us, and hopefully just a stepping stone. You know, we play them again Sunday, and we're going to do the same thing Sunday. Roberto said during the week that he thinks you guys are getting more and more confident and better every day, every day that you work together. Tonight, I mean, if you compared last week, two weeks ago against Italy, it's like chalk and cheese, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're a little disappointed now with how we went against Italy a couple of weeks ago, and we always had the confidence that we would pick it up. And, you know, step by step, week by week, uh, it's gotten a lot better. That was a good jump. That was a real good jump to play a solid three sets of good volleyball. But it is a stepping stone, you know, playing against these teams, these high-level teams, gives these young players the experience and, more importantly, the belief that we can challenge those teams and beat those teams, as we showed tonight. Well, congratulations, mate. Enjoy the victory and good luck again on Sunday. Thank you very much. Greg, uh, congratulations, mate. That is uh, an outstanding result in all your years of playing volleyball for Australia to knock off Italy. Yeah, uh, to my knowledge, um, that it's, I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've managed to beat Italy. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. So that's a really nice step in the right direction. I've got to say, uh, it's one of the best games I've seen you play tonight. Um, all the times I've been watching you, you really looked like you were confident from the start. Um, your, your sets were just coming together nicely. How did you feel out there? Uh, yeah, it felt pretty good out there. It was nice. Um, yeah, like you said, uh, a lot of things managed to come together and it was, um, in many ways, made my job a lot easier. A lot of the hitters did a lot of um, good work and just, yeah, made my job easier. It certainly makes it a lot easier too when the service game works for you guys, doesn't it? I mean, Sam tonight, Tommy, Sando, yourself, everybody was just getting the serve just right tonight and it was what was probably missing last week. Um, yeah, big time. Um, but uh, yeah, it was good, it was good. Um, uh, it, helped, it helped our game a lot, our block was working well um, and it made the side out again easier for me. Obviously, we don't want to win too often, though, if this is the way the boys carry on. Uh, uh -huh. I think we're NBA stars or something. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Yeah. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Enjoy the victory, but uh, good luck again on Sunday. Cheers. Thank you very much. Well, Tom Edgar, you've only been captain for a short while, but uh, this has got to be one of the greatest victories that you've experienced. Uh, it's great. Like I, I, can't, I can't explain it, honestly, because it's great for us, such a young team, to have this sort of win. And, um, you know, for, for the boys to experience a win against a high-quality team against Italy, it, it, it's great. Like, it's great for us building to the future, but it's, it's also great for the boys to experience that sort of emotion so early in our journey. Um, yeah, words can't describe it. At what stage tonight did you start to believe that, uh, that you guys were in with a real show? When we got to the stadium, honestly. Like, for me, I knew we'd come here. After Adelaide, we, we had a lot of work to do. But we're slowly getting better. We were a little bit better in Brazil, and they're a great team. And they were a little bit better again. And then tonight we really showed, you know, we didn't let Italy play. We were all over them from the start of the game until the finish. So um, it, it, it's a really big step for us to be playing like this against good teams. And the more we can do that, the better we'll grow, and, yeah, the better our team will be. One of the big surprises tonight was that you guys seemed to be targeting Ivan Yatsev, who's one of the star players. He was having... A bad night. In fact, he got taken out of the game halfway through the second set. I mean, that is, to, to get him taken out of the game, that is a good result for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Like, he's, uh, he, he's a high-quality player. He's one of the best players in the world. He's still coming back from injury, though, and we all know that. Like, he's, he had a bit of uh, injury problems while he was in Russia professionally, so he's still easing his way back into national team, I think. So um, I wouldn't write him off completely. We did have a good night on him tonight, but uh, he's going to come back bigger and stronger for sure. So definitely in the future of competitions, he's going to be a hard, hard guy to stop. Tom, as captain now, you've got to keep a lid on this. A lot of young players in this side who could get carried away. How do you sort of keep them focused? You've got to take it one game at a time. Like, especially with World League, we play a quality team every weekend. And we play, we play Italy again on Sunday. If we, if we come out with, with too much ego or arrogance or anything, we're going to get wiped, wiped off the court. So we need to just stay a little bit centred and, you know, Obviously, you want the boys to be excited, like it's a great win and they need to enjoy the moment, but we start again at Sunday at 8 o'clock, so that's our most important thing is we need to stay grounded, we need to keep working. Well, enjoy the moment, Boxy, you deserve it. Thanks a lot, Ross. Cheers. How was that? Fantastic, mate. That was one of the best wins I've ever had, um, playing in front of a big, a big crowd and a big, uh, a big volleyball country too. Um, coach said that there'd be a few people watching us on TV, both back home and in Italy here, so it was, it was good to get the win. 
when did you start to feel that you're actually in control, that you thought you, that you might actually be able to win this match tonight? Uh, never. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think we had to play every point um, extremely hard. I never thought we were. I didn't look at the score at all. Um, we couldn't couldn't take any we couldn't take any uh, points easily against these guys because they could have come back very easily. And I mean, the all-round game tonight came together. It was sort of what was missing the first two weeks. The serves were, was there tonight. The, the defence was there. Everything sort of sort of clicked in. Uh, yeah, we just had to back ourselves. Like everyone went for their serve today. We put the pressure on. Coach said uh, we had to believe in ourselves if we want to beat these teams. I think that was our problem the first couple of games. We, did, we weren't sure if we could compete. We weren't sure if we could win against these teams. Um, but tonight we really backed ourselves and and uh, and got the win. Personally, tonight you had a really good game. I, mean, I know you're a little bit down last week, a couple of errors creeping into your game, but tonight you look like you're really enjoying yourself. Yeah, I thought it was a good all-round game by both me and Sam Walker, the, the pass hitters. Um, thought we received quite well, served tough, and uh, scored our points when we had the chance. Well done, mate. Thanks.